Day music lovers have been waiting for. The 2023 New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival lineup is out and it's good. Eyewitness News brought to the list first this morning online and on our social media. And we can now confirm all the rumors are true about Lizzo. She has been named a headliner. You got to do it like a song. All the rumors are true. Yeah. And there will be all star tributes to the late Walter Wolf in Washington, as well as Louis Armstrong, Kid Jordan, many, many more. Today, Lily Cummings has been gathering reactions to the headliners and local names. Joining us now, live from the fairgrounds. That's one of my favorite Lizzo songs, the rumor song. <laughs> Hey, Sharice, it's one of my favorites, too. She is one of my favorites. And in just over 100 days, folks will be packed inside the fairgrounds here to hear her and other good music and eat a lot of good food. You know those mango freezes? And today we stopped by City Park to talk to folks about what they are most excited for. Here we go. You don't have to go far to find a Jazz Fest lover in New Orleans. How often would you say you go to Jazz Fest? As often as possible. Hi, how are y'all? For some, we broke the news of this year's lineup being announced. It looks like a good lineup. While others already had plans to purchase tickets. We go all seven or eight days, however many days they have, we will be at every one of them. Oh my God, I think I broke it. We went to City Park with nothing more than a whiteboard and a few questions. You're gonna give you this marker uh -oh. and let you at the board. Who are you most excited about? Ooh, I guess I'll say Ed Sheeran. Who am I most excited about? <laughs> Leon Bridges. Most excited about Lizzo. I love her energy. I love her presence. I feel like she's going to really connect with the city of New Orleans. I know Big Frida is always, always good, so I'm going to have to go with that one. Dirty Dozen and Rebirth are great. You got to put the name now, okay? Next, we asked, who would you add to this year's lineup? Mickey Mouse. Future broadcaster Kelsey had some thoughts. I want to write Mickey Mouse. There you go. There you go. I would love to say the Beastie Boys, but... That's impossible. I'll put Springsteen down. No brainer. Have to do it again, but Stevie Nicks. Next question. Who would you eliminate? This has been kind of a, a hot a hot button question all day. This is going to be very controversial, but I'm not the biggest fan of Ed Sheeran. I'm going to go Nathan and the Zydeco. I know it's jazz and it's local, but it's like I've never been a... Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. We bumped into your local weather expert, meteorologist Peyton Malone, who gave his hot take. I like Ed Sheeran, but and his music kind of sad. Peyton's most excited for Lizzo, hence the exclamation points. Well, I am excited for Lizzo as well and Jasmine Sullivan, her dead in company. So many good names that are on that lineup. If you haven't taken a look, it's on our website, WWLTV.com. Reporting live from the fairgrounds, Lily Cummings, Eyewitness News. Lily, Anjali Kijo, Santana's performing, Wu-Tang Clan. That's what I'm excited for. Thank you so much, Lily. I know. Almost I like it. Ed Sheeran. I'm excited <laughs> about Ed Sheeran. I have to disagree with Peyton. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm not excited about it either because it's Jazz Fest and Ed Sheeran does make sad wedding music. Oh, but it's so good. Anyway. <laughs>